Here's what happened in the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency in the last one week. Coming up. Hi, I'm Ajay from CoinLocker and I make these short videos to bring you the latest from the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency in the last one week. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. Electrum, the popular hot wallet for Bitcoin, has come under a denial of service attack on its servers. An anti-malware company discovered that the number of infected machines on the botnet is as high as 152,000 and the volume of stolen funds is reaching $4.2 million. Last week in India, a draft bill proposing a blanket ban on cryptocurrency is being discussed among various government bodies such as the Department of Economic Affairs, Central Board of Direct Taxes, Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs, and the Investor Education and Protection Fund Authority. The top two reasons driving the draft bill is money laundering and investor protection. According to experts, such a ban may not only prove futile, but also counterproductive. In 2018, the Eastern European country of Belarus has paved the way for cryptocurrency by a progressive decree called the Decree No. 8. Based on this new decree, the company Currency.com has announced that it will be offering a tokenized form of Belarus government bonds. Users can now use fiat or cryptocurrency such as Bitcoin and Ether to invest and trade government bonds. United States Congressman Brad Sherman has called on colleagues to outlaw cryptocurrencies saying they will threaten and disempower the American foreign policy and diminish the rule of law. Sherman claims that the end result of cryptocurrency would be not only to disempower the US foreign policy but also country's tax collection and traditional law enforcement and thus to transform both the domestic and the global status quo. After last week's $40 million hack at Binance, the CEO Chang Peng has published a security incident update. Chang Peng had earlier suggested the possibility of incentivizing a blockchain reorganization or a transaction rollback as a possible response to the attack. He later apologized for having fueled community concerns over the blockchain reorganization. The crypto security company Curve has partnered with the insurance company Munichray to obtain a $50 million coverage. This new insurance is designed to cover any cases in which a bad actor would be able to gain access to either Curve or customers' shares, both of which would be needed in order to sign off an illicit transaction. That's all the time we have today. And if you want to catch the latest from the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you want to read about the topics I just mentioned, please find the links in the description below.